Are you pregnant and absolutely drowning in pollen right now? Here's what you can do safely for hay fever and pregnancy. So sneezing, itchy eyes, runny nose, and being pregnant, while well, hay fever does not magically pause when you're expecting. But your options do shift slightly. So what is safe? I always recommend the Bumps website for understanding which medications are safe in pregnancy, and it's the best place to check, specifically for antihistamines, they have a whole page. And according to the UK guidelines, antihistamines like loratadine and cetirizine are generally considered safe in pregnancy. They're non-drowsy and they don't cross the placenta in high amounts. So if that's what you usually take, you can continue to take that to help you manage your hay fever symptoms. But always check with your GP. Most will prescribe these first line. Then there's nasal sprays like beclometasone or sodium chromoglycate nasal sprays, which are low risk and very effective. They act locally within the nose. They're not absorbed much into the bloodstream. And then you've got saline rinses or eye drops, safe drug-free options that just flush out those allergens and give you some relief. You can also apply some petroleum jelly like Vaseline or another wax-based ointment around your nostrils to help to trap any dust or pollen prevent it from getting inside. But here's what you should avoid. Decongestant sprays that contain pseudoephedrine like Sudafed are not safe. So always check or check with the pharmacist if you need to. There are some natural remedies, but they aren't always better. So I would check each one and avoid any essential oils without any evidence of safety in pregnancy. So the key, Hay fever can absolutely affect your sleep, your breathing, and even increase a risk of asthma flares in pregnancy. So don't just suffer through. There are safe medical treatments that exist, and you should talk to your midwife or your GP to get some tailored advice for you. Save this post for allergy season or send it to a pregnant friend who might be sniffly and suffering right now.